Hey, how's it going guys? JC here. Today we're going to be playing on our main, as voted by you guys. But don't worry, the Iron to Diamond series Mundo episode will be coming out tomorrow. Anyways, for those that are wondering why I'm hard stuck diamond, besides me being just bad and rusty, uh, it might come off as an excuse, but before I was Grandmasters and then I got dropped out because I went overseas and therefore was not able to maintain it. I feel like it's going to happen again, where in two months time I'm going to Bali and therefore it's just going to decay. So. There is no motivation for me to climb this year, it's just there's just too many things and also the fact that Iron to Diamond series has been keeping me busy. So that's my excuse for not climbing this season. But maybe when I come back from Bali I'll go for one push and if I make it, I make it. If I don't, no pressure. So that's what I'm thinking about but we're going to play on my main today. Hopefully I'm not too rusty first game of the day but we're going to jump right into it. Okay, so jumping into the game, I'm just going to mention right now, OP.GG and the runes are on screen right now, and this is the hardest, one of the hardest matchups for Trindamir's Akali. It's like borderline impossible. So I went for Fleet Footwork. We're going Desperation. With a double magic resist, we're going to start Doran Shield. And we, yeah, Fleet Footwork. So everything there is to be defensive about Trindamir, I have Ignite for kill pressure and to scout out her shroud. So if I do manage to get into a good position, I can use it to my advantage. Other than that, we're going to have Tiamat. Definitely get Tiamat against Akali, just because, you know, she's invis half the time. Ignite, she's invis again, so those help a lot. Essence Reaver for after invis, we're going to crit her face off and just try to run her down. But the chances are, all we have to do is just try to survive lane. Hopefully our bot lane wins. This is high elo, so I might not be talking as much. And if I do start to feed, I'm going to talk less and less. Just a heads up, but you guys did ask for high elo game. So that's what we're going to do. This is like a diamond one game, so it's not exactly like too high elo, but it is up there. So our job right now is just to survive until we get Tiamat with really good farm. That is our job and Akali is just absolutely brutal. The reason why she's so strong against Trindamir is because her Q is super long range, her auto is super long range. If you try to spin into her, she's gonna shroud and then she's going to harass you over and over with the super long range auto Qs. It's just very oppressive. Also I'm leashing, so this is not a good start for me. Okay. Let's head to lane. Akali didn't leash. She could actually push in. Okay, nice. We got all three CS. She got two. <laughs> We're already in the lead. Okay, I accept that. That hit hurts, but I accept it. Basically, this is worse than Teemo, in my opinion. Oh, I thought I could get all of them. And honestly, Teemo's not that bad. Teemo is just, you get some items and you beat him. I got the EXP for that ranged minion, that's all I really care about. Other than that, she's just going to be oppressive. That's why we have our Doran shield. And we're playing defensive with fleet footwork for the sustain as well. Stand with our minions so that it pushes in faster because if she queues, oh my god. If she queues us, then... Okay, well we obviously have to trade back if she's just gonna do that and run away, right? Okay. I'm going to put a ward here just in case we get dove. In the high elos, junglers like to dive you level 3. That is super annoying as a top laner, but they do it a lot. Especially if you're in a losing matchup like this one. Like a super oppressive matchup. Hmm. Not having the best luck with these minions dying a bit early. I need to just back off because Akali could kill me. And this one's tanky with Grasp. The worst thing we could do is auto attack her because then we'll take a beating from the minions as well. Okay, well so far it's not looking great but it's something. 
It's just the matchup, guys. So we stand here at our back line, okay, and once she cues it, we just back away, but hmm. We're taking too much damage, that's the issue right now. Okay, I guess we just go back home. I don't think she can push out fast enough, and it's pushing towards me. So right now, working towards Tiamat. And maybe we have a little bit of kill pressure, just maybe. Okay, sweet. She's leaving us alone. Also, she has teleport, so even if I was to go aggressive into her, it might not turn out too well. Okay, so we want to slow push this, because if we try to hard shove, she's going to teleport on a minion. And then she'll try to all-in us, which I don't think we win. Especially because she's up 20 CS when she went back to buy. Uh, wait, she appeared on the map. But she didn't get an assist or anything. Oh, okay, there she is. So Akali flashed and teleported. Okay, that's good to know. But she's level 6 right now, so... We hit 6 off the next minion. She want to jump in? Honestly, I wouldn't mind. I'm looking for her to cue the waves so that it just pushes back into me. It looks like Kha'Zix is here as well. So Kha'Zix already ganked me twice. And I count that as a gank because I made sure that I was safe. And this is pushing out, so it's like the perfect time for Kha'Zix to actually gank me. But I'm just being super careful. Because I know that even if I tried to harass her, uh, I wouldn't really win the trade. Like, I could just jump in and then she'll just shroud it. And then just auto me from a billion miles away. Which is zero counterplay for Trindamir. Like, she actually is the ultimate counter for Trindamir, other than Tom Kench. They're both pretty close. But I feel like Okali might be slightly more manageable than Tom Kench. Just very, very slightly, but not really. Hmm. Oh, she took a tower shot. Okay, well she took a beating out of that exchange because we we're playing under tower. But once we get our Tiamma, I think it's going to be a lot easier for us. Let's see if she cues us. Then it'll push back into me. Okay, she queued the wave. Kha'Zix is at bot side. Mm, that's annoying. I can't order her and she can order me. See, that's what I mean. Like, you can't really order her. So that's why Tiamat helps so much. Every little Tiamat slash really helps. Okay, so we're down like 25 CS or 26 CS. Feels bad. Oh, got the cannon. I'm just stopping the minions from hitting my tower, so they hit me instead, which is fine, because right now we're a bit higher level.
Hmm. If I go back here, she could probably shove in fast enough, actually. I'm going to make her think I recalled so that she hard shoves. Because we're waiting for the cannon wave. Yeah, so she's hard shoving right now. I got the XP anyway. Next wave should be cannon. Yep, it is. Actually, I'm gonna stay. She already used teleport, so I can hard shove this. Okay, let's go back. So just a little bit of extra gold for when we go back. And then we're going for a lot of raw damage right here. So we have the crit, which is very important. Every hit you want to make sure it crits on her, if possible. So we're going for hard hitting because she's just going to invis. Attack speed's the worst against Akali. Unfortunately, this shoved in pretty quickly. Okay, so let's just hard shove out. Because we don't know where Akali is and we really don't want her to roam. So we just shove out and see where she is. Okay, she's mid, so... Oh, she's dead. If we can survive, which we did, and we start taking tower platings, then we're good to go because this counter matchup is super brutal. Like, there's... If you try to fight her, you just lose. And even going heavy sustain, we were almost dying to her. So it really just relies on a team to be somewhat, like, doing well, like this. And then you get carried by not dying. Very important. The moment you die, you'll just snowball. You'll just keep dying over and over. I think that's her teleport. So she has no teleport. I'm pretty sure she used flash in that exchange too. I'm keeping my fury high by doing this. And I'm going to gamble that Kha'Zix is not nearby. Alright, got her. Sweet. She committed way too hard. Oh, he still got me. That was close. Oh, I don't know about that. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna be able to start scaling into Akali now because we had a breather where she went mid. So this is where I can really start to shine. So what I want to do is take Krugs and then start heading to lane and just taking out this tower. But I have to say I could have done way better on CS though. So that's something I could have improved on this game. So right now we're behind on CS by 17. And it's really nice that my mid lane's winning. Like that's huge. Also I tried to fight Akali just then because I knew that some of her abilities would be down since she just died mid. So her roaming actually helped me so much. Just knowing that information that she roamed and died means that I could actually fight her. So let this push in for now. I don't have ult. I think once my ignite comes up, I'll try to fight her again. So we could look for some short trades here. Okay, Kha'Zix is dead. Alright, so right now she has no shroud. That's not worth for her. My ignite's coming up. Okay, make her abandon tower. 
All right, that's pretty good. That's a really good result. Considering that it's an Akali matchup, this is really, really insanely good for Trindamir. If I didn't play this safe, I'll be feeding over and over and over. Like, I played this matchup before where it was absolutely brutal. Like, I'll be 0-7. I just go to lane and I get dove. But I think that was before when she was super broken where she could tower dive without a care in the world. So now she couldn't do that. Okay, we'll just leave the shroud. I might die here. Kha'Zix is here. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, I was about to ult. I was thinking I could tank out Kha'Zix's damage and then she was going to do something to me, but it was going to take maybe like a split second longer. So I was pressing my ult the moment she ulted, actually. I guess she was slightly faster than me. I don't think I could have killed Kha'Zix, though. He probably had ult, right? We head back to lane and we can easily defend because we have ult. And we could even go for a kill. It's just that our ignite's down. So she'll have to be pretty crazy around our tower. But yeah, we have 30% CDR. We're already working towards some nice goals. And then what we want to do is just ward up in the jungle. Try to take some jungle camps. Look at Akali. She's over there. But yeah, I guess I was playing a bit too aggressive. I did take tower, but too aggressive against Akali, especially when the jungle could be nearby. So that death could have been avoided. Right now, they're very close to me. They're over here. So we'll just back away. Look to take Scuttle. It really helps that, you know, when Akali roams once, that nothing bad happens to your team, and then you pretty much win. Okay. And he hurts. We'll just push out top. Whatever happens, happens. Nice, I got an assist. My team's doing well. That's really the only way you can win this matchup, honestly. Is just go even with your enemy laner. Oh, we did solo kill her. What? That's a fat bind. She gonna jump on me? I have ult. Let's go back. We'll get some really juicy items now. This is where we really shine. I could probably go for a second crit cloak. Just maximum damage output. Or I could go for 40% CDR. That sounds a bit better. Okay, so it looks like Irelia wants to go up against Akali. And I don't mind that at all. So we'll just go bot. But yeah, I'm so thankful that they nerfed Akali's Shroud. That was so... That was so oppressive to deal with. Just because she could do that to me and under tower. So I was not safe anywhere. And that was my perma ban for a while. Until people stopped playing her. Even though she's still really good against Trindamir. I can clean up. Oh, okay. They didn't need me. Why are they at Baron? I guess we'll just do Baron, or we'll fight them. Ah, she took a while to die there. Are they actually doing Baron? Well, I have to get out of there. That Akali's like really trying to chase me down, but that's okay. I can just split push. And hopefully they'll be okay. I could probably get Dragon for us. 
Take that blast cone in case the enemy uses it. But yeah, when we're really low, don't recall because as Trindomy, you have so much sustain, you should just take even more objectives. And in a losing matchup, all we want to do is just push towers, push lanes, take objectives, avoid the enemy laner. And if you see in kill opportunity, which we actually get a lot of kill opportunities because our team's doing well. But if they're not doing well, then I would just be straight up avoiding her. So here we go. We get rid of this potion and we start getting another crit cloak. This is where every single auto we do is going to be a crit. She better watch out. Let's see, this Annie, 3 and 8. And the matchup, I guess, maybe it's unfavorable. Annie against Irelia, I'm not sure. Hmm, they want me to group up. I can push out, but I don't really want to group at the moment. I don't do enough in team fights right now. Not until I get my Rage Blade. Then I start doing crazy stuff in team fights. Hmm, will that be okay? I mean, if they actually win this team fight, the game's over. That is nutty. Well, Akali matchup, guys. That's honestly it. You just need a winning team. And basically, when you get counter matchups like Tom Kench and Akali, if your team doesn't win, then the only way, yeah, you can't win. Like, that is really it for this matchup. So you need a team and then get carried. But a lot of people can't get carried if you're playing this matchup. It's really, really difficult, believe it or not. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. It is high elo game, so I say it's a lot more boring to watch because there's not much action. You have to be very careful. And then if you're not careful, then you're going to feed really hard. And it's just a very perpetual cycle that you don't want to go into. So you just play safe and generally that's just how high elo is. 14 LP is absolutely terrible for LP gains. That means my account has very bad MMR. And you can see I have negative win rate. The reason big is because when, when I got Challenger, I stopped playing for a very long time. Like almost half a year until the next season came around. And then I just spammed a lot of games on this account, didn't really care. And then I just kept losing and losing and losing and... Oh, it was not a good time, but I managed to pick up this win rate a little bit. Not too much, though. But yeah, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. I could post more of these if you guys like. I'm not sure if anyone really wants to watch this kind of content. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers.